to work on your forearm flexors, um, you go into the uh, medial elbow here, and the common flexor tendon has multiple attachments of your flexor muscles. And um, your, I can feel it's really tight right now because I haven't worked on it in a while, but I'm gonna show you how I work on myself for the flexor tendons. It's the same concept. Um, it's just, I like to work a little bit more on the medial, more delicate area. Um, this is where there's a lot of inflammation and sensitivity going on for myself. Um, I like to get this worked on. So I'm just applying some, some cream and then I'm gonna start scraping. Now I like to scrape lightly because as you can see, you can already see some um, what I call petechiae. Um, this is basically the patchiness that the, the blood flow is kind of surfacing up to the skin. So I'm breaking up that scar tissue. It's um, the scraper works um, efficiently with an even amount of surface and it's a like a thin surface area so I can get um, through the skin a lot, you know, more efficiently. Um, so I'm just gonna scrape it through just for a few seconds right here. And this is the, um, the redness that I kind of want to see if you guys can see that. So now it's, after a few minutes of that, I like to work the heck out of the common flexor tendon. And, oh, I'm hurting right now. But I can tolerate deep tissue. Usually you can tolerate your own deep tissue because you have control over it. So you, you kind of know what's going on. And I like to do some deep fiber stripping, cross fiber, friction, and all that good stuff until it's been desensitized almost completely. And then after that, by extending your wrist upside down, that's how you completely stretch your flexors. 10 to 30 seconds. All right, and that is my routine for forearm deep tissue work.